so kind of kind of move, move in that direction, thinking about like, you, you've been in the hospital at least twice probably for having the kids. Have you ever been hospitalized for anything else besides that? Um, when I had my, when I was having my first daughter, I had to go to the hospital. There was something going on. Um, I don't even remember what the doctor said it was, but they needed me to stay there so they could keep an eye on me. Okay, how long were you there for? Um, I think I was probably there for three days. Okay, did everything turn out okay? As far as you know? As far as I know, they just sent me home after and said that there was nothing um, too alarming that would cause okay. me to have the baby sooner than it needed to or anything like that. Well, that's good. Um, any other hospitalizations besides that? Well, I think maybe maybe in eleventh grade I got in a car accident. Oh. Man. Um, yeah, it was really bad. Okay. Where I broke my leg, mm -hmm. twisted my wrist, and had to stay in the hospital. I think for at least one night, and then I had to go to the whoever it was that was going to give me a cast. And you said that was 11th grade? 11th grade. Okay. But you're just like, like you're in that high school range there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anything else? That, any other hospitalizations at all? Or times you kind of went in for something a little bit more severe, I guess? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, my mom told me that when I was young, my dad pushed her and then kind of, I was in the way, and then I fell okay. um, and fell to the floor, and my mom was really worried about me, and um, I think she said that she went and got me checked out mm -hmm. at the doctor's, mm -hmm. so, but I didn't have to, from what she tells me, I didn't have to stay, okay. I don't remember it, really. Okay. Well, that's good that you didn't have to stay there, at least. Um, when's the last time you've been to the doctor? How would you say your health is right now? Mm -hmm. I just go in when I need, uh, when I'm really sick. Okay. Like if I have the flu or something like that, or I have a, like a bad cough. Okay. Then I go in, but okay. I don't do all those women checkups or anything. Okay. And <coughs> the last time you had just like a checkup where they ran your blood or something like that. Mm -hmm. How many years ago was that? Honestly, I don't remember. Okay. How would you say your health is then right now? Well, I think it's pretty good. Okay. I don't have any, I mean, I just get sick and uh, have to, you know, take medicine for that sometimes okay. when I, I don't know if it's flu or what like it is. Cold or something. Yeah. Okay. Where I, um, other than that, I don't really have, um, I mean, I guess I heal pretty good with my, the car accident, so, but yeah. after that, nothing really. Any allergies that you know of? I do have allergies, um, but I... Is it like peanuts or milk or like uh, pollen, that kind of stuff? It's all the stuff in, that gets blown around all oh. over the place. So it's, I guess, what do they call it? Seasonal allergies? Yeah. So okay. that's what I deal with. It gets a little frustrating, huh? Yes, yes. Yeah. Have you ever, um, just been ever been hit in the head, knocked out, lost consciousness at any point that you know of? Well, maybe, well, my mom, that story my mom told me, I don't, she didn't say that I got hit in the head, but I mean, there's got to be a reason why she had me checked out. Okay. So I would guess that maybe something happened because they normally wouldn't have, she normally wouldn't have taken me to the doctor. Okay. Um, just another quick question. Like anything like a chronic health condition, like a diabetes, hepatitis, mm -hmm. um, anything like that at all? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Like I think my my Che might have had diabetes. Okay. So there's been a history of that in your family a little bit. He's the only one that I heard about that was like that, um, but I mean, I don't know, maybe my mom has it, maybe my dad has it, or me or my brother, I don't know, I don't even okay. get checked. Okay. That's 
So you said you're like in a relationship right now for like three weeks or something like that? Yeah. Okay. And you're living with him? Is yeah. Him right now? Okay. Yeah. How's that going? Uh, hmm. Well, I guess it's okay for now. Okay. <laughs> because I've been in past relationships where I thought it was going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And then all hell breaks loose. Okay. So... <laughs> Let's keep our fingers crossed for this one. Okay. Like, just any, any idea about how many relationships you've been in in your life, would you say? Uh, is that a trick question? Or? No, no, oh, not okay. at all. Uh, I mean, let's see. it doesn't need to be exact by any means. But. Well, obviously I was in two relationships before this one because I have two kids. Okay. say the longest relationship you have was? Hmm. <sighs> I guess maybe 10 months. Okay. It's a pretty good amount of time. What happened with that? <laughs> that was a long time. Um, well, he just got crazy. Okay. He just got really crazy. He was really jealous and really like uh, trying to overpower me all the time and tell me what to do and um, there were times where I just like whatever okay but other times I just told him to go find somebody else or just go leave me alone because I don't need to be treated the way that he was treating me okay has there been like any cheating or infidelity in any of your relationships how about all of them all of them um, not always the other person, I'll just be honest. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Cause um, you know, stuff happens. Okay. Um, so what, what it sounds like both your kids are have different dads, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Don't don't judge me. I'm not judging you, I'm just, just trying to just wanting to know what what happened there. So, okay. So uh are you working right now? Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. I am working. I work at a gas station. Okay. Um, and I've actually been there for two whole months now. Okay. How's that going? Um, it's, it's okay. Like, there's times where some of the customers just make me really mad. Okay. Uh, they just have attitude problems. Okay. A lot of people just have some attitude problems. But, um, I get along with some people. Good. I, I've known a couple of people. They really like the gas station. You get to talk to people all day long. So. Yeah. Is that you or not really? <laughs> well, it depends on. Some what days. It depends on what day it is. Yes, exactly. Okay. So you've been there for a couple months. Yep. Okay. So how how's the finances then? Is that going okay? Mm, well, uh, I guess I have to build back up some money because. I just I don't really know how to save my money. Okay. And I mean, I don't know if people, if that's a real thing out there in the world where people actually save their money. Yeah. But um, I just, <laughs> I needed some food and I needed to give my grandma money for the kids. Okay. <sighs> Well, if, if you want to at some point, we can talk about that as well and just try to figure out some type of money saving options if, if that's something that you're interested in. Oh, um, so, okay. Okay. Um, so he's been, been there like two months. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the longest job that you had? What, what was that? 
So I actually worked at another gas station. That one actually lasted a year. Okay. That one what lasted. happened with that? <laughs> what always happens? Um, people start to irritate me and they just don't know when to stop and they don't know when I'm being serious. And okay. I just have like the customers or? Uh, some of the customers, yes, have complained about me. Okay. But also my supervisors, they're mm. so unwilling to cut me some slack. Okay. So, I mean, I put up with it for that long, a whole year, okay. and finally I just got fired from that job. Okay. So, you, and you said you've had a bit of, like, issues with that with, like, other employers as well? Yeah, doesn't everybody? I'd say most people will have issues with employers and bosses at some point. It's inevitable, right? Yeah. Well, I guess I'm just the, the queen of that then. Oh, okay. How many jobs would you say you've had? Hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, maybe about 20 to 25. Okay. What kind of job? I mean, what, what is the kind of like something like you, is there any like, you said gas stations, you had a couple of those, is that like a regular job that you have or? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I babysat for one of my friends for a little while, but oh my gosh, her kids were, they did not know what rules meant. Mm -hmm. So I just 